Hey guys, it's Dave, your high-tech redneck. Just working out here in the garage. Just want to do a few things and introduce myself to the world. Um, this. Da, 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 da. Don't ask me how to turn it. Is my Goldwing GL1500. My baby. And as you can see, he goes by the name Captain Black Sparrow because all the cool names were taken and that one's pretty cool too, so I like it. Anyways, just want to do a video and just let you know what all was up with this bike and what I've done to it. Uh, I got this bike about a year and a half ago. Um, it hadn't been on the road for like 12 years. Had Florida tabs on it, plates, whatever you want to call it, depending on what part of the country you're from. Um, I live in Minnesota, so it's as far as <laughs> it could be from Florida. Um, carburetors needed rebuilt. Tried everything with that. Tried running seafoam through it, Berryman's B12, everything. Found the guy, great guy, Bear Cycle Service. If you ever need something done, He's in Wisconsin. He's on the GL 1500 website. Um, he rebuilds carburetors. Heck of a great guy. Uh, I mailed this to him in about two weeks. I got it back. Both, you know, the carbs rebuilt, bench synced. I put them on that day and it fired up. And it was the first time since, well, in however many years that it fired up without being on choke. Um, can't say enough good things about him. Um, what else did I do? Need, need new tires. Well, we're in the middle of COVID when it came around that I needed tires. So it was a, I think what they say, like four to six weeks for wait time to get tires put on. So we learned how to put tires on ourselves and balance them ourselves. So, you know, one does what one must when one must do it. Got that done. Um, what else? It's a 99 GL1500, in case I didn't say that. As you can tell, white gauges. Um, don't look at that big spot on the dash right there that I'm zooming in on. Um, <laughs> that'll be fixed and addressed at some point. Um, stereo, didn't do anything different with it. It's the cassette player on there. And I've got, God, I wish I could figure out how to flip this phone around. In time, I will, guys. Give me a chance. Got my RAM mount for, or the, uh, it's a Ciro mount for my phone. Um, got an iPhone 12. So, got this little setup off of eBay. Don't remember. A few bucks for that. Uh, so, I could plug my phone in. Do, do, do. Charge it over there. Let me do this. I'm sure you can see it now. I've got a voltmeter on there with a dual USB plug. I can plug in my phone, have my phone charging. I have, if you noticed, I have the this little white plug, or this, this plug goes to the radio cassette adapter. This way I can play my phone, Sirius XM, um, uh, my heart radio sorry whatever music on my phone whatever I want I can play it through my phone it'll play through the speakers on the bike um, which I've had to replace already the back ones I haven't redone the front ones probably won't here it's a pain in the butt I'll wait until I gotta reach to change the uh, thing on the dash that shows you readout um, what else but yeah, so the I can Bluetooth or do that through there. I got a Bluetooth helmet. I got a Senna S. Uh, what is it? 10C. Um, so I can record things, video record. Um, got the wife an SMH5. So this way she can listen to her music on her phone, do her phone calls. She can listen, you know, and yet we can still talk back and forth. Great little setup. Um, I went out and I got the. 
headphones to plug in or the headsets to plug into the bike for the radio. Yeah, wasn't crazy about it. I don't use CB, so it wasn't a big deal. What else? Um, got the ram mount with the cup. My advice would be get the one for a big cup. This one holds like a 20 ounce bottle of water or a 12 ounce can of pop. You know, who drinks a can of pop while riding? I want my Yeti 20 ounce or 30 ounce. This way I'm going on the road. This way I have coffee or whatever I need. Um, coming around, what else? Haven't done a whole lot to the bike. Pretty much everything that's on here, as far as that, Farkle, if you will, was on there when I got it, except for the Grateful Dead sticker on the back because mama tried. Um, I put a backrest on. Did buy this off of eBay. This is a eBay fake Airhawk. Whatever, it does a job. It does a really good job. I think I spent 30 bucks for it, so. Rode this thing out to Sturgis. Did a great job. My butt wasn't sore. I was happy. I like being happy. Um, What else? The fancy garage door opener. Yeah, I just Velcroed it on there. It works great. Um, other than that, you know, I changed the timing belts. I changed the oil, uh, all the filters, the million filters, the one for the cruise control, everything. Um, what else? Obviously, new battery, new tires. Just went through stuff that hadn't been gone through for 12 years. Um, when I got it, one mirror was hanging off. I've Mickey Mouse that on. It works. Um, <laughs> but said so I went out to Sturgis and back with it and wouldn't think twice about doing it again or going to Florida or wherever. This bike would do it. It's not a problem. No questions about this thing. Um, looking at the odometer, 31,634 miles. When I bought the bike, it had 27,000 on it. That was a year and a half ago, something like that. So, um, and I'm not going to tell you what I paid for it because I stole it. No, not really, but pretty close. What else? I want to get a new windshield for the front. I had changed the windshield out and did a European short. Did not like that. It was so much noise. Um, did put LED headlights in it. I got them off of Amazon. 20 bucks, something like that. Um, anything else? If you guys have any questions, fire away. I mean, I ain't got much, but I got knowledge. So, <laughs> um, did put on these highway pegs. Got to redo them. One gets loose, moves around. Um, other than that, I'd like to get short the little stubby antennas on there, but I don't know how to do the CB one. I got to do some research on that, figure out what's up with that. Um, and like I said, any other questions you got, fire away. I've changed other things on here that I can't even get into right now because I don't remember, but yeah. Hey, thanks for stopping by, though. We're just hanging out in the redneck, high-tech redneck garage, drinking a little bit of a something-something. And yeah, give me a holler. All right, talk to you later. Bye.